Hey guys, Valley for Valor, welcome back to my true channel. People are doing some crazy stuff on TikTok. Man, what the heck? Like, TikTok right now is just another platform where people are selling their souls for internet fame, money, whatever. And it's crazy. So just watch what I just said. So I'm sure you've been seeing this face a lot. So somehow she was able to accumulate all these numbers and all these followers over a small period of time. And right, like this is no hate at all, but this is my take on it. Because when you're spiritual and when you're woke, you see things a lot more different than other people. You can see through things, you can see through the lies. You know the signs that show what the truth is. So when I see this, someone doing this with their head and getting over millions of likes, that makes me confused, so I look into it more. And a friend of mine actually DM'd me and said, Hey, do you think she might have sold her soul or something? Or do you think she's a puppet for the elites, for the pedophile agenda? And that's why she acts so childish? Because mind y'all, she's not the soft and childish person that y'all might think she is. If anything, she served in the Navy. So that itself should show you that she's playing a persona. And if you go and watch her Hollywood Fix interview, she seems very suspicious. She's not talking at all. Just very weird vibes. So my take on it is she's playing a part of an agenda and she's being used as a puppet for the elites. That's why she was able to grow so many followers and likes. What was that all about? What like what are what do your tattoos mean? Because I know you have like a big ship and stuff like that. Oh guys. So we all know that in the span of like four to five months, Bella has gained 35 million followers. Now, not even the queen of TikTok, Charlie D'Amelio, could do this. And it makes me wonder that someone that does this with their head can achieve millions of likes just for doing that with their head. So I did some more research and I actually saw a video where they said that Bella so- Yo, hold up. If you go right now on TikTok and you check this lady, in fact, maybe in the next <laughs> two minutes, show off like, 10,000 likes. In fact, she's just blowing up like crazy. Her stuffs are blowing up. Whatever she does, she's just blowing up and blowing up. And I don't know, like, this issue with low self esteem is really hitting hard on some people. People are just selling their souls for no good reason out of depression, out of self hate, out of anger, out of a lot of stuff. You know, you can't live with low self esteem. If you're on low energy and you're on low surface team, you can easily sell your soul to the devil without even knowing. This lady is blowing up real quick and her fans are saying that she sold her soul to the devil. Hey guys, it's Rosie and in today's recap, we are going to be talking about Bella Porch's rise to fame, evidence about her selling her soul and all these other crazy controversies about her. Bella Porch literally went from just 7,000 followers to over 30 million in less than a month. And by the time this video has been posted, it'll probably be even more. According to TikTok stats, Bella has been gaining 10 times as many followers as Charlie D'Amelio, the most followed person on the app. And some even speculate she has potential for beating Charlie. So let's piggyback a little bit. Bella Porch basically went viral on this TikTok after she used the Zoom feature singing the M to the B song. I can't say it because of copyright reasons, but you guys already know that. Yeah, literally all she does is just bop her head around and it made everyone pretty suspicious how someone could bop their head around and gain millions of followers. Before going for her childlike look, Bella was actually quite outstanding with her dark looks. This led many people to believe she had sold her soul to become famous because how else do you explain the dramatic change of her looks from this to this? But if you sit down, you know, I know a lot about conspiracy theory and I've gone behind the scene and I've checked her stuff they will always put something out to prove to you that they have some affiliation with the devil it's pretty much the same thing look at this picture she's actually worshipping the Baphomet you will see the symbolism same symbolism I've been exposing on my channel I don't have to say much about it because I guess everyone watching have seen it a couple of times on my channel so she's rocking with devil 
and if you look at this new trend called cosplay where people are trying to be like animes cartoons that's the most satanic stuff i've been seeing lately you know when you sell your soul to the devil you have lost yourself you have given yourself to someone i mean your inner self your mind your soul your body to someone else they will start switching personas like switching lanes where you no longer become yourself you transform yourself <coughs> and you become something else they, you try told, they completely is acting different bro they're acting completely utterly you know what i'm saying like somebody else somebody they're not this happens with all the rappers all the celebrities man well not all of them but a lot of them especially the musicians bro. like that's why you see these this girls doing tannic stuff doing cosplay trying to look like these japanese animes these chinese or whatever i don't care i don't care if it's japanese or it's chinese but they always try to dress like cartoons in the most crazy sexy manner but these stuffs are evil there are a lot of demons in these video games that people don't even know and they just play it for fun they think it's about fun no no video games have been used so many times to possess people as well as cartoons that's why we talk about all these stuff like alice in wonderland you know um the wizard of oz these are all means of mind control mona programming and they will put these things on people's faces and they will not know they will think no they are fine it's okay no but actually they are putting you to the devil's side and you always want to be on god's side no matter what be very careful about this cosplay and dress and this anime dressing insiders is one of the next big tiktokers to cartoons. blow up how do you feel about that Anyways, like I just feel like dropping this video. No matter what, as Christians, we have to do what we have to do. You know, pray for her. Hope that her fans wake themselves up and tell her to stop messing with the devil. Okay, congratulations on uh, blowing up on TikTok. Thank you. Have a great day. If you know what I mean. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you in another video. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Bye.